technologically things have changed dramatically and then just from an industry standpoint things have changed very dramatically. The broadcasting industry has undergone an extreme evolution through the decades. With over 30 years of broadcasting experience under his belt, UA alumnus and Cleveland News reporter Dave Nethers has been through it all. We did our editing with razor blades and tape, taping just pieces of reel-to-reel -reel tape together. But everything's digital now. This change over to digital includes the emerging variety of media channels. What we have to think about today is social media, the electronic part of it, the social media part of it, the web part of it didn't exist when I was in school, but now it's huge. Due to the rise of other new sources in this industry, do broadcasting students really have a future ahead of them in this field? That's the question. Really, I've been thinking a lot lately, and I have been really nervous that I won't get a job in the television industry right after college because social media is so popular now and is people's primary source of news, and I'm nervous that the television industry won't be as popular in the future just because it's not as convenient. Personally, I feel as though the industry is getting better. I mean, with all this online streaming and things like that, technology is continuing to better, so why is the television industry so-called, you know, dying off? I mean... I don't see why that's even logical. And according to Nethers, any concerns about the future should be put to rest. There are an awful lot of distractions these days that are pulling people away from television. However, I'm one person who believes that local television still has a lot of value. So, no, I don't think that anybody should be worried at all that television is going to lose interest. I'm Jen Danzak for Lights, Camera, Akron.